Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am actually with somebody for a collab. This is Bethany. Bethany. Bethany uh, Ryan. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> We've collabed before in the past, but never in person. She's with me to go to a style hall event tonight. So that is what we're getting ready for. It's like get ready with me. That's what we're doing. Get ready with us. She's gonna jump into it. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to like say everything we're using or just ready and kind of chit chat in general and oh, just get ready okay i don't know where i'm going i always like just lose what i'm looking for the second i start i know okay it's such a struggle yes <laughs> that's just in the way are you going to be doing foundation yet i haven't figured that out yet no i didn't pull out the foundation so i'm gonna try to hurry with mine so that you're not done way before me no, that's fine. Alright, got some jams up in here. I don't know if this is even still good. Do you have this? No. Because it, it kind of has a weird smell that I don't remember if it had that smell before. But it's like a like a plasticky smell. So I don't know if it's like... Gone bad yet? Yeah. I don't know if that was a... Hey, I've gone bad smell or... What's going on exactly? I keep my makeup way too long. Me too. I also never wash my brushes. I'm like a makeup sinner. I just finally washed my brushes, I think last week, a week or two weeks ago. After how long? Uh, at that point it was like a month, but <sighs> one time it was like eight months. Oh my gosh, I don't remember the last time. I think it was like December that Drew surprised me and washed my brushes for me. And then like he just washed them again so that I could do the girls makeup for homecoming. And that's, I'm, I'm horrible. <laughs> disgusting. I wouldn't trust Jeff with my brushes. <laughs> Would Jeff even do it for you? Like, I feel like he'd be like, what the heck am I supposed to do? Um, I think he would attempt. Yeah. But I think he'd just be, like, afraid of screwing them up because he knows how much, not, he doesn't really know how much they cost, but he, like, has an idea. Yeah. Now, I've been seeing, like, these weird Ulta videos get posted on YouTube. I haven't watched any, but they're, like, Ulta dumpster dives, where people like go into the dumpster behind Ulta and get all the makeup that was thrown out. Oh my gosh, I didn't know that was a thing. Me either, but I've seen like probably like 10 videos and like the recommended for me is like dumpster diving recommended. I didn't know they just like threw the makeup out like that. I think it's like stuff that's returned that they can't put back out on the floor. Still, I didn't know they just like threw it away. I guess it makes sense. Like, what else are they supposed to do with used makeup when they accept it back? But. Yeah. It's still weird though that people will do that. Using the BB cream. Yeah, I am. I wish that worked out for me because it actually, like, finish wise, is actually really nice and it doesn't look dry on me. Mm -hmm. You need to get, like, the. What is the thing that Taylor uses? The Taylor? Um, Manic what? Panic? Manic Panic? Yeah. yeah. You need to get some of that and see if maybe that would help you. I was so worried I was going to forget something. Not that you don't have a ton of everything that I could potentially use. But yeah. Color yeah. Pop needs to stop releasing new things. I know. We just released something yesterday. Did they? What did they release? Um, three new highlighters and five new shadows. Um, their new finishes. Ultra glitter shadows, I think. And then what? opalescent highlighters, which are... Oh, I saw those. Yeah, I think they're trying to, like, dupe the Moonchild. Yeah. Is it Moonchild? Yeah, Moonchild yeah. kit. So how long does it usually take you to get ready when you're not filming and you're just doing makeup? I never do my makeup unless I'm filming. Well, like, full face, I guess. Yeah. But, like, every day I literally wake up with, like, 15 minutes to get ready. So I just throw on my brows and throw on mascara, and that's pretty much it. I always gotta put on some shadow or something. Yeah, like, I always put on my eye primer just to, like, cover up my veins. I hate the freckles in the veins that I have on my eyelids. I just think my eyes look weird and I look younger without any makeup on. Yeah. Which I guess isn't totally a bad thing, 
but like I'm 25 and people still think I'm 17. <laughs> That's a good thing later on, I guess. Yeah. You remember Mackenzie, right, though? Yeah. Like from, yeah. She is the same age as me and she still looks like 12, so. Yeah. At least it's not that bad, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this Ardell brow product. I don't like mine. Like, I just mentioned it in my favorites video because I've been using it nonstop, but like now, it's like super, I don't know how to describe it, like really, really dry. So like it's, it drags and like clumps up really easily now. It didn't do that, but now it has it. Is it because it's like older? I just got it like a few months ago. Is that the one you got at Gen Beauty? Cause I got the Ardell thing at Gen Beauty, but I didn't open it until like a while later. Did we get it at Gen Beauty? That's where I got mine. I thought I bought it. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I did get it from Gen Beauty, but I only just opened it. I am behind on watching videos. So I put all my videos in a watch later list. Yeah. And I'm just now on videos from September 20th. <laughs> yeah, you commented on my hair video today. Yeah. Like, I never, like, try to miss people's videos, so I always throw them in the watch later, and I think I have, like, 400 videos in there now. Oh my gosh. I, I don't follow that many people, I don't think, but it feels like I do when it's all backed up. Mm -hmm. I'm subscribed to a lot, but there's only a few people that I actually get on and habitually watch. I go watch all of your videos and all of Karina's. Sophie, if she ever uploads. Yeah, throw in major shade here. <laughs> and Alexa, when she uploads. You just started uploading, right? Again, kind of? <sighs> sort of. She has been trying to vlog, but she just texts me saying that she like tried upgrading her iCloud so that she could have more storage because it kept saying memory was full every time she was vlogging. Uh -huh. I guess now she can't find her videos like anywhere. I usually don't have a problem with Apple. Usually. I've never had a problem until like this month. It just seems like everything that's been happening. I'm like, what the heck? How do they do it? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> like, I wish I knew, but honestly, I think it's just like how people like, like they go for like the pretty people type of thing. Yeah. Not like we're ugly, but you know. We're, we're not like majorly glamorous. Yeah. Like everyone else. So did you want to do an outfit video? So we might have time after we get makeup done. Yeah, totally. Is Drew any good at camera stuff? Nope. Jeff isn't either. Drew can try if, if Jeff isn't like comfortable. I mean, Jeff will try. He'll just be terrible at it. <laughs> Um, Drew did like some of the shots from the LA Outfit of the Day video that I got for Alexa and I. Do you want to do a halo eye? And then, let's go for it. I've totally been trying to decide if I want to do that or not. Camera's going to overheat soon. No! Don't do it! See, it's nice because it gives you the little temperature high somewhere. Oh! I thought you just sensed it. No, not that special. <laughs> so close to being out of this. I don't want to run out. I don't want to order more. Is that the paint pot? It's the... It's BH Cosmetics Smooth Canvas Primer. And it's literally the same exact thing as the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. But like significantly cheaper. You know, I've never actually ever tried anything from MAC. Really? Yeah. Never even went to a MAC counter, MAC store, or anything. I've gotten a few lipsticks from them, and then the uh, eye primer I had, and then I ran out of it, so. When I ran out of it, I was going cruelty free, and I found out about this, and this is literally the same exact color as painterly, same consistency and everything, so. So is this a bit more fashion-based then? Like, do you know exactly what it is? No. They haven't said anything in the email exactly what it is, if it's for like charity or something. Um, there hasn't been any posts on the Facebook page about it. 
Yeah, I was looking at their Twitter thinking they would have tweeted something, but like, nope. I'm say which green. <laughs> I like the one on your middle finger, whichever one that is. It's really pretty. I like how it's more like an ivy. Yeah. You gotta use rocks to blend it. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> I think it was more like closer to that. Well, yeah, we're both in the frame. <laughs> Sounds like they're bonding. I know. I was just gonna say that. Love it. Always oh, nice. Jeff talking to somebody in real life. And rather than the over the headset. <laughs> we're decided on a Haley Y2, just so you know. It's been my go to lately. I mean, that one looks like a Haley Y really. I saw, um, do you know Allison, her name was Allison Loves JB a long time? I don't think so. Allison Henry? No. That's her. She, um, posted that picture and said makeup for the Style Homemates party four days ago. So like I don't know if that's supposed to be is that like supposed to be the same thing or is that just another thing? Might have been something else. I didn't know if like another like traveling thing going on or what. This is the first actual invite I ever gotten from Style Hall. Most of their stuff is LA or New York. I know. Like I really hope things start coming here. I just wish they would do Gen Beauty in Chicago. I know. Like, I don't know why they wouldn't. Right. Unless it's because it's like the murder capital right now. Kind of puts a damper on it. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's weird because like New York completely to the east. LA completely to the west. And it's like Chicago is like right in the middle. I mean they did do Toronto. But that, you have to like, don't you have to like get a visa to go to? Yeah. Yeah, that's like, I don't know, or passport, not visa, whatever, I don't know. I don't know how people get invites, because I know when we went to LA, Kaylee went to a Makeup Forever I one. know. And then, um, I don't remember her name off the top of my head, but she's Glitterati Glamour. Yeah. Um, she went to the New York one, and she was invited to like a Creator Day thing. Yeah. And she got free stuff from that. She was also invited to the party. I figured like the creator day was like just gin beauty like one day and then the other day was what you could buy tickets for. But I didn't know. I didn't understand, I guess. It's just weird seeing like some people, what they do versus other people. I know, it's weird seeing like the people that are doing the same exact thing as you and they're like succeeding so much better. Yeah, to be fair, I think the Glitterati chick, she has a blog with a ton of followers. Yeah, I can't think of her, M Miriam or something like that? Do you know her? She was like the older lady that was hanging out with Kaylee at Gen Beauty. I think so. I think she like got invited to this huge like launch party. I can't remember what it was, but like it was one that Patrick and Manny went to. Oh, she was at the Next Face Awards. That's what it was. Oh. Yeah, she was. She lives in LA though. Like, I feel like life would be so much easier as a YouTuber if I lived in LA. Yeah, it's like you can They're get much more expensive. Oh yeah, true. I feel like you can get to like these events just like. The day of, you don't have to worry about paying for like hotels, flying out there. But yeah, crazy expensive. That's why I'm hoping it just expands. Oh, why did I just do that? Come back to me, brush. I had someone comment on my video saying I was using my real technique sponge wrong because I was using like the flat side to put my. I'm struggling hardcore here. I was using the flat side to blend in my concealer under my eyes. So like the pointy end or whatever. And she was like, um, hun, you know you're using that sponge wrong, right? And I was like, um, hun, first of all, like this, 
you're supposed to use like the pointy end or whatever, which I can use the pointy end of this, but like the Real Techniques one doesn't get this pointy. Yeah. And my under eyes are too small for the Real Techniques one. So like, what's with these people telling people they're doing things wrong? If it's working and it's turning out okay, is it really wrong? Have you gotten a lot of like hate comments on any of your videos? Not really, like, I mean, there was that one, like, critiquing me or whatever, and then, like, the video you and I did together of, like, the full face using... The highlighter one? No, the one that we hate, the products oh. we hate. Um, someone was like, that Benefit, was it a Benefit mascara I used, I think? They're like, that mascara might work if you actually used it right. You're supposed to do this or whatever and it's, they were like I can't believe all these people who don't even know how to use things and they're trying to teach people how to do things and I'm just like whoa chill like you obviously have some kind of problems within your life right now coming at me like that have you done your face like the rest of your face no okay I'm trying to keep up with you <laughs> okay lashes will probably take me like 10 minutes I'm gonna try this mascara hopefully I don't poke my eye out but it's not a bad formula. Like, I like it. Not as much as the Too Faced one, though. I like the Too Faced or the Lash Princess one better. Still the Too Faced. Um, the Lash Princess is good, but, like, sometimes it just, it's too much. And then it just, I have one lash. I have yet to try it. It's like five bucks, but... Olga, which isn't bad. Yeah. I feel like red ball in these lashes from my Gryffindor love. <laughs> I just don't know how to properly clean these. Ow, oh, yep, there it is. Poked your eye? Yeah. Cool. Felt great. That one still isn't as bad as the Kat Von D one. Here I tried the Immortal Lash. Uh huh. The thing is a spiky death ball. Has it been that long? My battery's at 39%. Oh no! One bad thing about this camera is it's not meant for prolonged filming. Yeah. So like, does the battery not last as long as most cameras? Um, not when I'm using it like this to film. Okay. But for like vlogging and stuff, it will last quite a while. What's up? Is it seriously? We're almost it's hour, done. It's an hour and a half right now. Where did the time go? Hey. Waiting for the camera to cool down. True. This is gonna be fun to edit. Oh yeah. All this footage. We just got word that we have to leave like really soon, so that's why we're like not talking. <laughs> we're like, gotta get it done. Chicago traffic, man. It's <laughs> not cool. I want to use the new glow kit. Sure, why not? <laughs> I'm gonna try these ones. I mean, this is the one night where if I'm gonna go big, I need to go big. They're huge! <laughs> Do you use Duo? No, I have the House of Lashes blue. Okay. Which is very good. You have to wait forever for it to dry. But it's a pain to get off. Wow, yeah, basketball's fun. I don't think there's a basketball hoop here. We have a tennis court, but I've never seen anybody play tennis on it. These are huge. Holy crap. They're pretty, though. These just don't look that huge on, like, Desi and Katie. I know. That's crazy. They're only, like, but there's only like six, five or six bucks. Really? Yeah. I thought they were expensive. Me too. Like I've never actually looked them up. Uh, I thought House of Lashes was expensive. Yeah. But they're, like the smaller box is nine dollars and like the Iconics are twelve or fourteen. Gosh, this lash glue smells like cat pee. It's no nice way to put it, to be honest. Usually you hear people complain about smelling like fish. Mm. Or yeah, something else. Yeah. Should I do Havana Nights? 
or hey. should I do Hypno? Help her go out? Maybe Hypno? Hypno is not quite as dark. Oh my gosh. Touches my eyebrow. I hate doing hair. I know, that's why I don't even do mine most of the time. I hope that didn't get on you. If it did, I'm sorry. That's fine. I don't think I know anybody that is in style hall. Like a smaller YouTuber. Okay, this lash, I can't do it. It's poking my eye. Did you need a trim? A trim? Trim them? Possibly. I don't have time to reapply them though. My eyes wouldn't stop watering once I put them on. I'll get my life together here in a second. <laughs> Take your time. Carl went back into the closet. I feel bad that he, she's afraid of us. I keep wanting to call him he. Call her he. Oh the name throws everybody off. Yes. Okay. That's our life right now. Yep. Now we just gotta get dressed. Not on camera. <laughs> Alright. We're done. So, I have a video. This is on my channel, which you're watching now. I'll have a video up on her channel of our outfits, hopefully. Hopefully. Hopefully we have time for that. <laughs> if not, regardless, she'll be linked down below. Should I look from far away? It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Oh, yours. Thanks. Silver and green. Slytherin. <laughs> we have to go now because it's we have to leave <laughs> in like three minutes. Yeah! Put that over there. Alright, okay. bye. Bye! <laughs>